Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. Oftentimes, content creators will give hyperbolic statements such as, This company is doomed. This movie is a disaster. This company, this developer, this studio is under massive amounts of pressure. And occasionally, it's just, you know, simple projection, little bit of mix of overhype projection but in this case i do firmly believe what i'm about to say because ubisoft is in trouble over in this little article from that park place john f trent ubisoft stock stock prices drop seven percent you may not think that's a lot but wait till you see the numbers as company faces pressure from investors to take company private and star wars outlaws sales are soft as great as everyone is Claiming this game is, doesn't look like the sales are matching the praise. Stock price has fallen to a low, an all-time low, 1367. Specifically, it fell over 7% in the past day. Just one day. 7% drop. That is, that is an actual disaster. According to Yahoo Finance, the stock price has declined over 16% in the past five days. It is down over 41% in the past three months and nearly 30% in the last six months. In the last year, the company's stock price has down over 50%. My goodness. In the last five years, it's declined over 81%. If you bought Ubisoft stock in the very beginning, you have lost money if you have held on to it. This, these are not good numbers for Ubisoft. Now, what are the reason? Is it projection? Is it the expected sales? Maybe it is the, I don't know, the outlook, how people are viewing the products that Ubisoft is putting out there. It's going to be interesting to see what the sales of Assassin's Creed Shadows are, but I thought it wasn't sure what Star Wars Outlaws was going to be, but apparently they're a bit lower than the company would have hoped. Most recent stock drop comes in the wake of Star Wars Outlaws reportedly having soft sales as well as Slovakian investment firm AJ Investments urging the company to go private. I'm not sure I am not any sort of stock expert or financial advisor, so I'm not sure what that would do to help the company going private. First, it was reported that Star Wars Outlaw sales were performing much worse than Jedi Survivor in the UK. Games industry head Christopher Dring detailed that Star Wars Outlaws, quote, launch sales are 55% lower. Oh dear. That's also not a good sign. He added it was 15% bigger than Ubisoft's massive, Ubisoft Massive's last game, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I don't think that's saying much because I didn't really hear anything about Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. We don't have digital data yet, but. Uh, we don't have digital data yet, and this is just the UK, but it was a weak launch for Star Wars Outlaws at UK retail. Launch sales are 55% lower than that of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, yada, yada, yada. The data was seemingly reflected in a report from True Trophies that detailed the game only hit 25th place in its top 40 most popular PlayStation games chart the week it debuted. Well, that's funny. I thought it was doing a lot better than that. All the shills online were claiming it was the top three, the top five, but wow, not even 25th place in the top 40. More bad news. The outlets Kess Eilers Stevenson, why do you have so many names, shared <clears throat> number 25 is just below the middle of the chart and it sits behind pretty much every major middling live service. Oh, every major and middling live service game in terms of popularity right now. I wonder if it has anything to do with the massive amounts of bugs and glitches and horrible AI and lackluster character models. Maybe. Or maybe it's just because of the bigots and the racists and the homophobes and the sexists and the istophobes and yada, yada, yada that just don't want a strong female character in their Star Wars product. You decide for yourself. 
Normally there are the early 20, normally these are the early 20 spots where the PS Plus Indie Games debut. Not new AAA open world games. Well, you slap the Star Wars name on it, expecting it to just make gangbusters. A lot, well, like, a lot like what Disney did when they bought Star Wars. They said, we can put whatever kind of crap we want out there and people will just gobble it all up. Well, how's that working out for you? In its second week on the chart, the game fell to 28th place. Oh dear. For Kong... For comparison, Concord <laughs> was 29th on the chart during its early access and open beta weekends. Astrobot and Harry Potter Quidditch Champions, something. Uh, Astrobot is fantastic. Harry Potter Quidditch Champions, not hearing too many good things. But, oh, they both debuted in the top 10 in their first week on the chart. Astrobot was 8th. Quidditch Champions was 10th. Quidditch Champions was also, now to be fair, Quidditch Champions was free to PlayStation Plus. Okay, so people probably jumped on that, checked it out, and they will probably never go back to it again. On top of what looks like poor sales, AJ Investments sent an open letter to the board of directors of Ubisoft urging the company to go private or sell to a strategic investor. So AJ Investments is suggesting perhaps that Ubisoft sell. What do you think? Who do you think they could possibly sell to to turn things around? Is Microsoft going to pick up another one? Is Activision Blizzard going to pick up somebody else? I just screwed that all that comparison up, didn't I? We're going to move on. Pay no attention to the nonsense. I just... The oopsie. Okay. Whoops. In the letter, the investment firm specifically took issue with Ubisoft. Who? No, seriously, who do you think... Who could possibly buy out Ubisoft? What major development studio could buy out Ubisoft? Hmm. Electronic Arts, Microsoft, Sony. Who would benefit the most outside of, you know, Ubisoft being able to keep their doors open? I do wonder about that. In the letter, the investment firm specifically took issue with Ubisoft's lowering of its revenue outlook for its second year when Star Wars Outlaws released. They were hoping for a big banger for Star Wars Outlaws, and they are really hoping they can salvage something with Assassin's Creed Shadows, but... Mm. <laughs> I don't know. The firm wrote, quote, the recent quarterly results, which included the postponement of key games like Rainbow Six Siege and The Division into the 2025 lineup and the lowered revenue outlook. This is all a bunch of extra. Let's see, share price of Ubisoft have decreased more than 40% over the last year. So their sales are down. Their stock prices are down. Outlook and desire for the video games that they're putting out is down well below projection. What could possibly happen? Let's see. Oh, letter O. You think Tencent could buy them out? No. What else you got here? In order to improve Ubisoft, the firm suggests the company be taken private. Okay. And Tencent, oh, by the Gilmot family and Tencent in order to allow the company to address... Wait, Tencent already owns something in Ubisoft? Oh, that might be a problem right there. What do you make of Ubisoft's stock price dropping? Well, where we got here? It definitely has a lot to do with the... Let's see, what's the word I'm looking for? Hmm. How the general public, how the gamers view Ubisoft. Their reputation in the gaming industry is probably plummeting over and over year by year with whether it's uh, the buggy mess, predatory monitor, predatory microtransactions, the monetization models that they use for their games. People are tired of the buggy messes, and more and more gamers are walking away from games like this. They're holding on to their wallets, which, finally, maybe we can learn something from the releases of Anthem, No Man's Sky, and Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, Cyberpunk 2077, my most beloved game, followed by No Man's Sky. These games, those games did make a comeback. I'm strictly talking about the releases. You can add Fallout 76 to that. The nonsensical buggy messes that those were bait and switches, not delivering on promises that were made during the marketing, gamers are maybe perhaps finally learning from these things, holding on to their wallet just a little bit longer, holding on to that pre-order, maybe waiting for day one. Maybe that's happening. And maybe with all these plummeting stock prices, plummeting sales, lackluster sales rather, these developers can learn something too. Stop sending the games out when they're not finished. Make a good story. 
play test the game longer than five seconds, and perhaps you'll get more people playing the games. You'll get more people talking good about the games, and, you know, maybe, I don't know if Ubisoft can recover from this. Again, as always, that remains to be seen. It could actually even get even worse. So, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Leave a like, leave a dislike, do all those nifty little things as YouTube would beg you to do. And I hope to see you in the next one. Can Ubisoft recover from this?